Sahih al Bukhari 1636, narrated Anas bin Malik that Abu Dar said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The roof of my house was made open while I was at Makkah on the night of Miraj and Jibril descended. He opened up my chest and washed it with the water of Zamzam. The he brought the golden tray full of wisdom and belief and poured it in my chest and then closed it. The he took hold of my hand and ascended to the nearest heaven. Jibril told the gatekeeper of the nearest heaven to open the gate. The gatekeeper asked, Who is it? Jibril replied, I am Jibril. See Hadith number 349 Vol 1. Sahih al-Bukhari 1637. Narrated Ibn Abbas. I gave Zamzam water to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he drank it while standing. Asim a sub-narrator said that Akrima took the oath that on that day the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had not been standing but riding a camel. Sahih al-Bukhari 1638 Narrated Aisha we set out with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the year of his last hajj, and we mended the Iram for Umrah. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever has a hadi with him should assume Iram for both hajj and Umrah, and should not finish it till he performs both of the them hajj and Umrah. When we reached Mecca, I had my menses. When we had performed our Hajj, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent me with Abdur Rahman to Tanib and I performed the Umrah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, This is in lieu of your mist. Umrah, those who had assumed Iram for Umrah, performed Tawaf between Safa and Marwa and then finished their Iram, and then they performed. Another tawaf between Safa and Marwa after returning from Mina, and those who had assumed Laram for Hajj and Umrah to get her Hajj Quran, performed only one tawaf between Safa and Marwa. Sahih al Bukhari 1639, narrated Nafi. Abdullah bin Abdullah bin Umar, in his writing, Animal entered the house of Ibn Umar, he the son of Ibn Umar said, I fear that this year a battle might take place between the people and you might be prevented from going to the Kaaba. I suggest that you should stay here, Ibn Umar said, once. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam set out for the pilgrimage and the pagans of Quraysh intervened between him and the Kaaba. So, if the people intervened between me and the Kaaba, I would do the same as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had done. Verily, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have a good example, then he added, I make. You a witness that I have intended to perform Hajj. Along with Umrah, after arriving at Mecca, Ibn Umar performed one tawaf only between Safa and Marwa. Sahih al-Bukhari 1640. Ibn Umar intended to perform Hajj in the year when Al-Hayyaj attacked Ibn as Zabair. Somebody said to Ibn Umar, there is a danger of an impending war. Between them, Ibn Umar said, Verily, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have a good example, and if it happen as you say, then I would do the same as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Had done, I make you witness that I have decided to perform Umrah. Then he set out, and when he reached Al Ba'ida, he said, the ceremonies of both Hajj and Umrah are similar. I make you witness that I have made Hajj compulsory. For me along with Umrah, he drove to Mecca a hadi which he had bought from a place called 
Kudade and did not do more than that, he did not. Slaughter the hadi or finish his iram, or shave or cut. Short his hair till the day of slaughtering the sacrifices. Tenth dull hija, then he slaughtered his hadi and shaved his head and considered the first tawaf of Safa and Marwa as sufficient for Hajj and Umrah. Ibn Umar said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did the same. Sahih al Bukhari 1641, 1642. Narrated Muhammad bin Abdur Rahman bin Nafil al Qurashi. I asked Urwa bin Az Zubair regarding the Hajj of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Urwa replied, Aisha narrated. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reached Mecca, the first thing he started with was the ablution, then he performed tawaf of the Kaaba, and his intention was not Umrah alone, but Hajj and Umrah together. Later, Abu Bakr I performed the Hajj, and the first thing he started with was tawaf of the Kaaba, and it was not Umrah alone, but Hajj and Umrah together. And then Umar did the same. Then Uthman performed the Hajj in the first thing he started with was Tawaf of the Kaaba and it was not Umrah alone. And then Muawiyah and Abdullah bin Umar did the same. I performed Hajj with Ibn Az Zubair and the first thing he started with was Tawaf of the Kaaba and it was not Umrah alone, but Hajj and Umrah together. Then I saw the Muhajirin emigrants and Ansar doing the same and it was not Umrah alone. And the Last person I saw doing the same was Ibn Umar, and he did not do another Umrah after finishing the first. Now here is Ibn Umar present amongst the people. They neither ask him nor any one of the previous ones, and all these people, on entering Mecca, would not start with anything unless they had performed Tawaf of the Kaaba and would not finish, finish their larum, and my mother informed me that she, her sister, as the bear and such and such persons, had assumed larum for Umrah and after passing there, hands over the corner of the black stone I, e. Finishing their Umrah they finished their Iram. Thanks for watching Hadith like and subscribe. Subscribe my channel for more Hadith videos. Allah bless you Al-Hahafiz.